Hey guys, this is Alec Sam, Director of Product here at OneLedger, and what I really wanted to show you today is uh, how the domain management piece works within the One Wallet. And so here you can see I'm at the My Domains screen. It's showing you a list of all my domains. Um, I have an account here. This is actually the account owner, uh, and you can see owners and beneficiaries, and I'll explain that in a second. Um, but I can actually flip this account, and it'll show me the, uh, the, uh, the accounts that are under this owner account or sorry, the domains that are under this owner account. Um, and I can look at account three and there's nothing there. So back to account one and just taking a look at what this table is, how do you put things on for, how do you uh, activate and deactivate um, domains, how to create, how to change your beneficiary account, how to sell a domain, and then how to buy a domain. So we're just gonna go through that process and take a look at everything. Um, so essentially let's start with activating and deactivating. So um, here are my alley.ol is active. So when I deactivate this, what it really means is I'm basically turning it off uh, for people to be able to send funds to. I uh, remember all of these domains you can actually use as send addresses uh, to send funds to. So you no longer have to use um, that um, the, the cryptic code for your address. You can actually use a domain and people can send funds to this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here, my password. You can see there's a fee associated to this because it is a legitimate transaction on the One Legend network. You need to uh, to run this transaction. There's a fee associated. So I'll do that, um, and what you'll see is uh, there. It's actually um, inactive. Uh, I'll go ahead and I can activate it again. Again, this is enabling it so that um, people can send funds to it. Um, and uh, there you go. It's active. Now that being said, I can also change the beneficiary account. Um, of these um, of this particular um, of this particular domain now beneficiary account just means that the account that will receive the funds so um, I can actually have one um, one address or one account like OLT1 owning the domain but set the beneficiary account to a different domain. So if I have a lot of funds in my OLT account, OLT1 account, I don't have to move funds into, into the OLT2 account to actually buy the domain. I can buy it with this, this account owner um, and set it to this um, to this uh, to the beneficiary account, and that'll make things simpler. I can also buy in the future, I'll be able to buy um, domains and set them to addresses that I don't even own as a beneficiary when that happens. Um, so that the beneficiary uh, address can actually get um, the funds. So let me go ahead and show you how to change the beneficiary. So if you click on change beneficiary up here, uh, see the beneficiary is OLT1, I'll change it to OLT2. And the change beneficiary is again a transaction, so there's fees associated to it. Go ahead and do that, right? Um, and then you'll notice that the beneficiary account changed. Okay, um, now I'm gonna move on to how to sell a domain. Right, so again, you saw that there were multiple actions under here. There's a change beneficiary, there's sell. Uh, so I'll go ahead and I'll sell a domain here and show you that process. So it's pretty simple. Uh, Vitalik. Well, I'm gonna put in a price here. Let's put one million, one million OLT. And again, Put something on sale it's a fee so i'm going to go ahead and say yes there you go vitalik is listed it's at 1 million olt um, and then i can actually remove it from sale which sometimes you might put things on sale that you don't want to put on by mistake or put the wrong wrong domain on sale go ahead and remove that and there you go it's back in my list and it's inactive so when a domain's on sale it actually puts it in an inactive state um, just so you guys know that as well. Now, the other thing you can do is you can buy a domain. So I'm going to go ahead and search test 10. Um, and notice that it's always .ol, so all the extensions are .ol. Uh, and I'll go ahead and try and buy that one because it's available. Um, what you'll see here is you have your beneficiary account that you want to set it to, right? The, the purchase details actually is for the ownership. So um, who owns the account? So what I'll do is I'll actually set the owner to OLT1 and the beneficiary to OLT2. Um, and then uh, the purchase price is there. And then I can buy it for a term, right? So as you can see, if I buy it for 20 million blocks, it's actually 3,000 OLT. I can go down to 100 million blocks. 
um, and that's actually 11,000 OLT. So uh, these prices kind of vary. So I'll buy it for 10 million blocks. Again, this is a term like, so if you're thinking about GoDaddy and other applications that sell domains, it's very much like that. Only difference is uh, on a blockchain, you measure a period based on blocks. You don't measure it based on time. So you're buying it for a certain time period, which is related to blocks. So I think 10 million blocks is about, uh, it's either six months or one year. Okay, my fee, my price, my price with the fee, buy that. Um, and what you'll see is, boom, there it is, T test10.ol, um, and it's in the active state. All right, guys, uh, the last thing I do wanna do is actually show you a send transaction to uh, a domain. And so what I'll do is I'll send it from my OLT1 account, but what I'll do is I'll send it to uh, ak82.ol. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, so I'll put AK82 here. Notice that you can't put any periods or .ol. So uh, what I'll do is just send it to AK82. You don't need to put the extension in here. Um, and I'll send, um, um, let's send something that we can see, 999. Um, and just put in my password here. Okay, um, so that's how much the price is gonna be for the fee for the send. And that's the, that's the total price. So I'll go ahead and send that from OLT1 uh, and it completed the transaction. So let's look at what that transaction looks like on our Explorer. Oh yeah, there it is. My domain send transaction, it's 999. Uh, it's in this block, let's look at that block. You can see that's the only transaction in the block. Um, and so it's there. I can also go into my accounts here. And because I use OLT1 to buy it, it should be a 999 transaction, there it is. Um, so it gives you an idea how, to, how the entire system is kind of linked together from the domain sending to the accounts to uh, the Explorer. Um, again, hit us up on uh, One Ledger Tech on Telegram. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the Twitter channel here um, and also hit, hit us on, um, on Twitter at One Ledger Tech. Thank you.